Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this chunky cropped crochet sweater. I'm making it in a size small and the full ribbon pattern from sizes extra small to 3 extra large will be available for free on my blog. The link is in the description bar. You will need super chunky yarn. I'm using Lime Brand's Heartland Thick and Quick in the color Cat Mai. Some scissors, a 9mm crochet hook, a darning needle, and 4 stitch markers. To begin, create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 48. Once you have 48 chains, slip stitch into the first chain to join. Make sure that your ring of chains aren't twisted. To begin round 1, chain 1. Single crochet in each chain until the end of the round. You should have 48 stitches in total. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first single crochet. To begin round 2, I am going to use a no turning chain stitch. I find this reduces the visible seam at the back. Pull up a loop roughly the height of a double crochet. Hold onto the loop and yarn over. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. This no turning chain can be replaced by a chain three and it counts as a stitch. We're now going to front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then back post double crochet. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of back post double crochet, front post double crochet, all the way until the last stitch. At the end of the round, slip stitch into your no turning chain or your chain 3 to join. To begin round 3, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet into the next 7 stitches. Place 3 double crochets into the next stitch. Place your stitch marker on top of the second double crochet in the cluster. Double crochet into the next 7 stitches. Place 3 double crochets into the next stitch. And place a stitch marker on top of the second double crochet in the cluster. Double crochet into the next 15 stitches.
Place three double crochets into the next stitch. Place a stitch marker on top of the second double crochet. Double crochet into the next seven stitches. Place three double crochets into the next stitch. Place the stitch marker on top of the second double crochet. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. In total you should have 56 stitches. Slip stitch to join and turn. Begin round 4 with a no turning chain stitch or a chain 3. Double crochet in each stitch until you get to the first stitch marker. Place three double crochets into the stitch with a stitch marker. Place the stitch marker on top of the second double crochet. And you're going to repeat this process three more times. Double crochet in each stitch until the stitch with the stitch marker. Place three double crochets into the stitch with a stitch marker. Move the stitch marker on top of the second double crochet. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. You should have 64 stitches in total. Slip stitch to join and turn. Repeat round 4 until round 11. At the end of round 11, you should have 120 stitches. We're now going to join the body together and separate the armholes in the joining round. To begin the round, start with the no turning chain stitch or chain 3. Double crochet in each stitch until the first stitch marker. Double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. Skip the stitches in between the two stitch markers and place one double crochet into the next stitch with the stitch marker. Here you've created your first armhole. 
Double crochet in each stitch until the next stitch marker. Double crochet into the stitch with a stitch marker. Skip the stitches in between the two stitch markers and double crochet into the next stitch with a stitch marker. You have created your second armhole. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. At the end of the round, you should have 70 stitches. Slip stitch to join and turn. To start body round 1, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch in the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. To start round 2, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet into the next 15 stitches. Double crochet 2 together. Double crochet into the next 35 stitches. Double crochet 2 together. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. You should have 68 stitches in total. Slip stitch to join and turn. To start round 3, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. To start round 4, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet into the next 15 stitches. Double crochet 2 together. Double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Double crochet 2 together. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. You should have 66 stitches in total. Slip stitch to join and turn. To begin round 5, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch of the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. Repeat round 5 until the end of round 8. I suggest trying your sweater on. You can add or remove rounds if you want to make your sweater longer or shorter. To begin your final round, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Front post double crochet into the first stitch. Back post double crochet into the next stitch. Front post double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of back post double crochet, front post double crochet until the end of the round. Slip stitch to join. Fasten off.
With the back of your sweater facing you, insert your crochet hook along the edge of the sleeve. Secure your yarn and pull through a loop. Chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch along the round. In between the two stitch markers, space out two double crochets, two together. In total, you should have 29 stitches. Slip stitch to join and turn. To start round 2, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch of the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. To begin round 3, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet 2 together. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. You should have 28 stitches in total. Slip stitch to join and turn. To begin round 4, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. Repeat rounds 3 to 4 until round 18. You should have 21 stitches in total. To begin round 19, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch in the round. Slip stitch to join and turn. I've turned my jumper inside out to make this final round easier to crochet. To start the final round, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Front post double crochet and then back post double crochet. Repeat this pattern until the end of the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch to join. Fasten off. Repeat these steps for the second sleeve. Weave in all of your ends, and you've finished your chunky cropped crochet sweater.